In this video, we will see how we can create and manipulate data in Excel worksheet. So we will be using the fill functionality, then fill in a series to help us automatically create data. Doing that can make your work very quick and also reduce errors that you can commit because of entry the data yourself so let's begin if i type july and i want to quickly fill all of this uh, with july i can do that by just selecting the cell then i can go to fill then fill down all these Will be filled and that way you could do it is you select up to that place up to where you want to end then you hold down the control button and click D it will fill it for you so that is one way you can fill a number of cells automatically Sometimes so you like to move in a certain sequence. Let's say from 10 a.m. You move to 11 a.m. So you want to generate numbers in that sequence. So what you have to do is to select the two cells then hold the fill button and drag here drag it down so you can see where it will end 9 a.m. if you go to the next cell ends at 10 a.m. you can also fill a cell by rules so let's say i've entered a date here so I have a date here and i want to fill this i want to fill this row up to this cell with this date so what i have to do is to select this cell then come to the fill then select the series so I'm going to fill the date so uh, I want it to end at a K so I'll enter a stop value there which is uh, that will be 19th 19th so I'll enter that last date So I'll select the row, then I'll click OK. So you see that automatically the dates have been filled for me. You can also fill it by a certain step. So if I select this and I want to fill it downwards, maybe every three days or every two days. I'll go to the series, then I'll click the step here to then the stop value should be let's say nineteenth. And I click OK. Now I have to select columns. So it fills and ends at 19th. You can see that it's going every two days from 11th to 13th to 15th to 17th to 19th. We can also fill a cell either to the left or to the right. So let's say I have 
this number here generated so let me type one here and i want to fill it to the right so i select it again then i'll come to series so to the right uh, i want it to increase by one so i'll select linear and then i want it to end at five so I just click ok the same way I can fill it to the left if I want to fill this to the left I can just select these two then I'll drag this fill here to the left so we can see that it is decreasing when I drag it to the left then also you can fill downwards so let me see I'm written six here I can select these two and fill it down so it is going to increase by the difference which is six you can also select these two and fill it upwards increase in that order we can also create data using the months of the year so if I write January EM, then I write February. I can select the two and generate the data to where you want it to end. The same thing applies to the days of the week. You can also do that. Now we can also generate a certain format of numbers. So let's say I have 0.1 here, which is a decimal, and I want to format it. I'll right click and go to um, format cell. Then what you're going to do is to go to percentage if I want it to be in a certain percentage I can reduce this and click OK so 10% I want to fill it to the right so I'll come to the fill then come to series then I'll select linear so this is going to be added it's going to increase by 0 0.1 and i want it to stop at one so it will fill the rows if i select the columns it will fill the columns so i'll click ok so it ends at 100 percent also increase it by a certain factor so you go to fill then you go to columns i want it to increase by a factor of two and it should end at it should end at one so downwards so you select this growth and that will give us this so it is going by a factor of two from 10 percent to 20 percent to 40 percent to 80 percent so quickly we can type from one to hundred within a few seconds so we have this just drag this to uh, 10 here yeah. then again I'll just type this and then I drag it to again I drag it to this point so now when I select 
from year to year I can even get to thousand within a few seconds you just have to drag it to where you want to release it thousands of numbers within seconds within seconds you're able to generate these numbers in Microsoft Excel